Ever since the lockdown, I've stopped greeting Uber Eats drivers at my front door. And instead, I quickly grab the food after they've dropped it and munch on it in the corner of my house, like the gremlin that I am. But I really wanted to thank my Uber Eats driver because they've been working so hard all year, through rain or shine or even magpie season. And if I couldn't thank them in person, I thank them in robot sen. The only problem is, is that I've never built a robot before. So how do I even start? <laughs> I started by getting an electronics kit for beginners and also created a rough sketch for my robot. The robot works by turning around on a motor and then it sings the thank you song to the Uber Eats driver. I figured a good place to start would be trying to make the motor spin, but no matter how many online instructions I followed, the motor just wouldn't spin. I was confused by all these new components and scared by this new alien code and just so overwhelmed. Tina? 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 So yesterday I jumped straight into the deep end and got quite overwhelmed. We'll get back to the video in a moment. If you're liking this video so far, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It lets me know that people besides my best friend and two family members watch my videos. All right, let's get back. Today, I'm just gonna go back to basics and learn how to power up my first LED. I followed some online tutorials, but no matter what I did, I couldn't get my LED to turn on. And suddenly, that all too familiar feeling of dread returned. However, this time, I wouldn't run away. I refused to let my fear control me. So I kept pushing on. And on the fifth try, I used a different component. And this happened. And I was over the moon because I created this with my own bare hands. Which is why there's cause for a celebration dance. <laughs> So building an LED yesterday was only the first step. To build an actual robot, I needed more knowledge. <gasps> I followed a YouTube playlist that goes through the basics of electronics, taught by a guy called Top Tech Boy. He's super wholesome, and he kind of reminds me of Bob Ross. And I have to admit, the next few weeks were not easy. I had great days, but I also had days where I literally spent hours just on one problem, only to find that I plugged one thing in the wrong way. But with every problem that I solved, I felt more and more confident, and my doubts slowly went away. And finally, after three weeks and 68 video tutorials, I was now ready to build my first robot.
Okay. So, how does this robot work? When someone presses the doorbell button, the Arduino, which is kind of like the brain of the robot, tells the stepper motor to spin the head around. And after it's spun around, the Arduino turns on the motors that controls the eyes and the mouth, whilst also turning on the music through this Adafruit soundboard. I named my robot Jemima. She even has my eyes. I set up the robot at the front of my house, and we were now ready to thank our first Uber drivers. <laughs> Despite Jemima giving her performance her all, none of the Uber drivers wanted to stay and listen. And some Uber drivers even tried to put food on top of her. So I thought of a new strategy. I'm going to ask the Uber driver to please stay for the song. <laughs> I've learned so much on this journey. I solved lots of problems, learned to use scary tools, and I faced my own self-doubts. I've always had low self-confidence and found it really hard to believe in myself. So as I was building a robot to appreciate others, I slowly learned to appreciate myself along the way as well. It kind of felt like as I was wiring up my robot, I was also rewiring my own brain. And now that I look back on my initial fears, they seem a lot smaller. But maybe it's because I'm a lot bigger than I originally expected.